Married at first sight, UK star George's Berthano has branded his ex-wife Peggy Lawrence a calculated manipulator after she blindsided him with a breakup announcement on Valentine's Day. The E4 contestant, 30, told Mail Online the couple, who mutually decided to part ways in January, agreed to issue a joint statement to inform fans they had ended their relationship. But he claims that without his prior knowledge, Peggy, 33, told her following she was single in a move Georges says was purposely done to hurt him even after he had sent a bouquet of roses, balloons and a card to let his ex know he still cares on Valentine's. Now, Georges has revealed his side of the story behind the couple's split nine months after filming ended, claiming Peggy only visited his apartment on three occasions, they only had sex six times, and his TV wife has been tapped up by TOWIE, but can only join if she's single. Georges, who married Peggy after they met for the first time at the altar, also alleges that his ex-wife refused to pay for anything throughout their relationship, while he spent thousands of pounds on restaurant dinners and a romantic trip to Paris for her 33rd birthday. Speaking exclusively, Georges explained, We said we were going to do it together. The next thing I know she's putting out a statement on Valentine's Day, on purpose. It's obvious she has done that on purpose. It is calculated. I sent her flowers, a card and balloons for Valentine's. I checked my letterbox yesterday and I got nothing. In the aftermath of the show, Georges struggled with his mental health, explaining the changes to his lifestyle and financial stress had taken a toll on his happiness. He confided in wife Peggy about his struggles but ultimately the pair decided to end their marriage so Georges could focus on getting better. Georges said, mentally, I have been struggling a lot recently. When I say a lot, I mean more than I have ever struggled before in my life, and that's down to lack of routine, income, clients. All round struggling with making ends meet and I have been burning through my savings. Peggy realized that something wasn't right and when we got back from Paris, we spoke on January 30th, and she asked whether everything was okay with us. I have never been so confused in my life. I wasn't sure if it was our relationship, me or just life. I couldn't put my finger on it. I sent her such a long message I was weeping with tears, and I don't usually do that. I knew we had broken up because of how the conversation went. No one ended anything, we didn't say, this is over, just the way the conversation went on the phone, it seemed like it was over. I never wanted to dump her. I am such an optimist in life because until it's over, I never think it is. I told her, I don't want this to end, I just needed some time and space because I'm not very well mentally and I'm not happy. Georges says the beginning of their downfall was Peggy refused to visit him at his Farnham apartment so the couple would only see each other when he stayed at her parents' house in Kent, or he paid for a hotel. The lack of effort he felt from Peggy's side eventually got him down, with Georges, who became known for his unfiltered personality, feeling like he has lost his spark. He said, I never saw her. We came back from Paris for her birthday, and I didn't see her for two weeks. She has only been to my place three times since the end of the show in May. I have to go to hers or we have to get a hotel. She never, ever came to mind.